Welcome to this short presentation about ripples. As soon as we hear ripples, our imagination kind of automatically connects with ripples in the sand beach or desert. We all have to agree that ripples are beautiful patterns carved by nature using either flow of wind or water. In deserts, the sand ripples are formed by redeposition of airborne sand grains that make an impact at a steep angle to the surface. These ripples are not limited to deserts. You will be surprised to hear this. These ripples can occur in airplanes as well and from the same source that is due to impact of airborne sand particles however on the turbine blades in an airplane engine. Turbine blades in an engine operating a temperature above 900 degrees Celsius are exposed to sand particles that escape through the combustion zone. It leads to loss of materials in turbine blades such a phenomenon is known as erosion. Understanding this phenomenon is important to improve the thermal efficiency and also engine life. By using Ducom air jet erosion tester in the lab we attempt to reproduce these ripples like features on nickel chromium alloy a commonly used turbine blade material. Test method is quite simple. Silica sand particles of mean diameter of 50 micrometers were carried by a compressed air through a tube that is heated to 1000 degrees Celsius. A heat resistant alumina nozzle with a smaller diameter compared with the tube was used such that it will create an energy flux of silica particles. These particles at 1000 degrees Celsius impact at an angle of 30 degrees with the nickel chromium alloy. Here nickel chromium alloy was also heated to 1000 degrees Celsius. Erosion as determined in terms of weight loss per gram of silica particles was in power law relationship with the particle velocity. The power exponent was 1.5. As this exponent being closer to 2, we could assume that significant part of the particle's kinetic energy was transferred into loss of material or erosion. Ripples were observed on these specimens at an entry zone and they disappeared over the travel path leading to material removal and then the surface smoothening. These ripples were the result of particle impact that led to plastic deformation and lip formation followed by cutting of these lips due to particle rotation in the end, there was loss of material due to all this step-by-step -step process of particle impact. An interesting observation is that the spacing between each ripple tend to increase with an increase in particle velocity. We were able to reproduce ripples using Ducom air jet erosion tester at 1000 degrees Celsius. Although the ripples in sand deserts resemble that of ripples on nickel chromium alloy, they do not have the same meaning. Ripples on nickel chromium alloy are caused due to loss of materials 
whereas the ripples in the desert are due to redeposition of sand particles. It means that these beautiful pictures of ripples can be a source of failure for a material scientist.